Well, he boasts being fired more times than he can count. That is one of thousands of things that you'll find out in his new autobiography. John Barber is a comedian, producer, Emmy winner, and now an author. He's joining us. Great to have you here, sir. Oh, Sean, thanks so much. Delight. So, I, uh, first of all, I love the, the name of the book. Your mother's not a virgin. The bumpy life and times of the Canadian <laughs> dropout who changed the face of American television. If you want to know how the title originated, it was quite by accident. I was the first morning host of the ABC News show in Los Angeles called The AM Show. It was 1970. Jim Garrison, the DA in New Orleans, who was played by Kevin Costner in the movie JFK, had just lost the case. But what people didn't know is he'd won the perjury case, which the government prevented him from prosecuting. Anyway, one day I'm in a bookstore and I read Heritage of Stone, written by Jim Garrison. And I'm stunned because it has all this unknown information the media never reported. As President Trump talks about the fake news, here we have him taking the time life to the Supreme Court to get the Zabruder film to show to the jury. There is a pathologist named Dr. Fink who says, under oath, that he was not allowed to perform the autopsy by generals and admirals, and he said they weren't even allowed to look at photographs, and if you look at the Warren report, there are no, there are no x-rays, there are no photographs, they're all drawings. Hmm. It's as though Mad Magazine had drawn the Warren report. So I called him and booked him on my show, the most popular show in Southern California. He said, John, you'll never get away with it. But finally, when I talked him into getting on the show, he said, you know, John, it's 1970. Eighty-three percent of Americans, according to the Harris Poll, do not believe that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone or even did it. And he said, but what's shocking is that only 20% of Americans want a real investigation. And what does that say to you? And I said, Mr. Garrison, it says to me, I know what my mother and father did on the pool table or in the rumble seat of the car <laughs> or in the bedroom to conceive me, but don't ever tell me my mother's not a virgin. And he howled. And then I said, as Mark Twain said, my second favorite writer next to William Shakespeare, it is easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled. And we've been fooled by the American media since November 22, 1963. But Sean, that's only a very small portion of this phenomenal Canadian rags to American riches story, and it's a must read for everyone. And you're doing a book signing at, at Barnes & Noble. I'm doing it on Monday, which is April 1st, which is April Fool's Day. Originally, the book is scheduled to come out April 24th, which is my next birthday, my 86th birthday, okay? Happy early birthday. Uh, thank you. And I know we only have three minutes here, but it takes me three minutes to cook an egg. <laughs> but the reason I chose April 1st is because every day in my life, with the exception of meeting my wife and the birth of my son, has been like April Fool's to me. And that's why I chose April Fool's to have the signing at Barnes & Noble's from 11 to 2. And Sean, you know, I've had amazing, amazing, wonderful things all happen to me by accident. And all the disasters in my life were those things that I planned really well. And I am more <laughs> nervous about the book signing than working with Sinatra and Bob Hope and Goulet and Darren and all of the things that I've done in television. Well, no reason to be nervous. You've got the, the book and the real life experience to, to back it up. You're known as the godfather of TV and we're gonna have you stick around for Facebook after the show and uh, we'll get into that and oh, your thoughts on modern well, reality TV. Well, you said I was the godfather of TV I, and they dubbed me the godfather of reality TV, but reality TV, I don't wanna take a bow for that, but I will for real people. <laughs> and, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. Oh, thank you sure. so much, sir, for being here. Oh, I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. And you saw the information up on your screen for that book signing. Rachel, over to you.